Hi everyone. So here it is. This is my solar system. Okay, I've got a panel at the bottom. 340 watts at the top. Those ones are fitted on two sun tracers. Okay. Um, they work pretty well all day. They just turn around all day and then they come back in the evening in the morning. <laughs> That's about it really. <laughs> and if you have a look at this system, you can see that I've got uh, one, well I've got a cable running down the side there while that cable goes to my shed where all my stuff is like power inverter, batteries, um, solar charger and everything else and from there I've got another cable which comes down and goes into the roof where I've got another battery and a solar charger that is to move the panels round okay because underneath there are two motors and they just move incrementally all day long and they just follow the sun so that's pretty cool and uh, you gain loads of power I think today I'm kicking about eight, 17 amps so that's pretty cool yeah. and um, that panel down there is independent from that system up there, okay? Because that one, I use that one to power those motors underneath. You can either have 12 volts, well, it's from 12 to 45 or 48, I think. So you can have, um, you know, different types of setups if you need, whatever. And, uh,. I mean the aim of this system is to save money really because I've got grid so if I want I can use the grid but I don't use that I just use my solar in the evening for lighting and stuff I can run my PC off this I can run all my lights but I can't run the fridge and the washing machine but that is because my power inverter is too small I need to get a bigger one which I will do eventually okay so that's it really. So now we're going to go to the shed, check out the gear. So there you can see, my panels are over there and there's a cable running from those panels down on top of this roof, alongside this gut ring, all the way down here. And it goes into my shed. And then from the shed, I've got another cable coming back out the shed, running alongside that wall, back up the roof, and into the house for all my solar bits, uh, sorry, all my neon tubes and stuff like that, computer and everything else, okay? So, uh, zoom this out, there we go, so there's my solar box, okay, here it, here it all is, the, the loads of AGM batteries, fucking solar charger, power inverter 600 watts, I need to change that. I want to get eventually a 3000 watt so I can run my washing machine and everything else. I mean that's it really, just sort of keep it simple you know. 98% fully charged. 14.1 volts, 14.2 amps, floating at 5.5. I mean the amperage tends to go down when the batteries are fully charged, although I've got 15 amps on the 
on the solar 14.1 so that's not bad and it will stay like that all day on a good day so it's all good free energy like you know I've got a battery conditioner as well it conditions all my batteries keeps them tip top condition these I picked up cheap about these are like AGM batteries, they're the top top dog in batteries, man. I mean, these I picked down the market, I paid um, uh, 200 euros for four of them. And this one, I paid 80 euros for this one. I mean, this one is the dog's bollocks in battery power. I mean, this one, this one would set you back 404, 450 euros new. I went. Mean, I'll, I'll pick this one up for 80 euros. So that's cheap. I'm planning on getting some more. There's a guy who sells these. I don't know where he gets them, but he sells them. He sells them very cheap. You know? I don't know where he gets them from. But, anyways, saves me loads of money. That's about it, really. Lights, solar. That one solar does the job. Hmm. So I've got ground wire going down there. This is connected to more solar as well. That's it. Free energy. It's what you want. None of this bullshit paying bills and stuff. I've got to get rid of all that. All those bills. You know what I mean? Every year it keeps on going up. Going up, going up. Just drives me insane. Right, that's it really, okay? Yeah, kicking. See, 15 amps all day. Not bad. I was thinking about getting some more as well. You know, they're pretty cheap now. I can pick them up for 150 euros, 90 watts. So I'll probably fit loads at the bottom of the house somewhere. Don't know where, but somewhere. All good stuff. Oh, sorry about this guy. I'm not very good with a camera, as you probably can see. 